What's going down, YouTube? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Matt Merced, man. You already know what time it is. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel once again. Today I am with another video for you guys, man. Welcome to episode 8 of my Road to the Goat 2 series starring Matt Merced. What I'm bringing you guys today is some EA Sports Fight Night Champion Legacy Mode gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode here. If you guys didn't check out the last episode, the link will be in the description. But I'm telling you right now, if you did not see last episode, you need to go back. You need to click on that video and you need to watch that fight. You guys can skip. I think it's about maybe 11 minutes into the videos where the fight starts. You can scroll through and see where the, the fight starts, man. But yo, we landed some crazy, crazy, crazy shots on our opponent. And we were able to come out with another knockout. So you already know what time it is when it comes to this series. You already know your boy's looking to become the greatest boxer of all time. And finish his legacy maybe with the most knockouts in boxing history, man. Who knows what this episode, you know what I mean, what this series is going to hold. But I'm telling you guys right now, man. Make sure you guys go and check out episode 7. Absolute madness, man. Um, here's episode 8, though. This is what we're focused on right now. As always, we're going to break down what's going on in this episode. We are the 34th ranked heavyweight contender in the world. We are now the 415th pound for pound ranked fighter. We now have $24,000 as well as 1,500 XP. Still 20 years old. Still only our first year in professional boxing, man. So far, a great year for the cooler. Um, four, not, four victories, four KOs, man. Anybody who stepped up to the plate and decided to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with your boy winds up going to sleep. Um, it's, it's simple like that, man. Like I was saying in the last episode, man, we got some crazy power here for a 79 overall fighter. So I can't even imagine once we start hitting the 90s, it's going to get ugly, man. It's going to get ugly, man. Make sure you guys, if you're new here, you hit that subscribe button. And you turn on that post notification bell, man, so you can receive messages every time I upload a video. As I tend to upload videos, mul multiple videos, every day as much as I can, man. But with all that being said now, let's get into our next fight here, man. Let's rest up. Well-deserved break for us after that last victory, man. Alright, my dudes. We are definitely going to pick our next opponent. With this clown right here on the screen. We're going to be fighting in Mexico City. If we win this fight, we're going to be getting 12 racks. We got 13 weeks to train for this fight, man. 35-4 and four with 19 knockouts. His last five, he hasn't been really doing too good. But as you can see from the record, he's won 35 and only lost four. And he's put down 19 people. So you already know what time it is, man. There ain't no fear here, bruh. We ain't afraid of no challenge, man. Challenges is what make us. Last episode, if you guys haven't checked it out, we trained in Philly. I'm kind of wondering if we should go back to Philly for this episode. We got 24,000. We can actually uh, train in England and even Mexico, which is pretty cool. Um, Man, I don't know where. I think... Ooh, should we change it up, guys? Nah, you know what? Let's go Let's go back to Philly because there was a couple of new challenges we didn't get to do. Uh, new, I mean, new training drills. So sorry about that. I didn't mean challenges. But yeah, man, we're going to simulate these, these fights here. And we're going to look to train, man. Okay, so we had 13 weeks. Oh, look at this, man. We got some yearly awards, man. Let's see. I doubt we won any awards here. This is for all fighters. Okay, so out of all fighters, we didn't win any awards. Let's see for heavyweights if we won anything. No. Okay. Didn't really expect to win any awards. This is only our... You know, this is going to be our fifth fight here. And we're still really, really high on the rankings, man. We're not too low yet. We're not close to anywhere close to getting a title fight yet. So I really couldn't expect to get any fucking awards here. 
But like I was going to say before that popped up on the screen, it gave us 13 weeks before the fight. But now we only have four to train, so... As always, we're going to get one training thing in, one training, 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 and rest. So without further ado, guys, we did the maze bag last episode, as well as close the show. So I think in this one, we're going to go with heavy bag push and defensive specialist. So let's start it off right with heavy bag push. Simulate this fight here. All right, before we get into this, let's look at what we need here. We need 35,000 points to get the champion. I don't think that's going to happen, to be honest. Technically, I don't even know what to do with this yet. So let's just get into this, man. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys are feeling today, man. Let me know how everything is. Hopefully everybody's doing good, man. Alright, so we gotta... Okay, so pretty, pretty cool training drill here. We just gotta mix it up to the top and bottom of the bag and push this thing as much as we can. We gotta push this thing to the limit. And as you guys, you know, as you guys know, man, we're still a 79 overall. So any of these training drills that you guys are seeing me do now, like this is the first time I'm doing push the bag. It's not gonna be anything near extraordinary. Or maybe anything even near good. It might just be okay. Keep it moving. Because this is our first time doing these drills. We're only a 79 overall, man. No one's so the power's not there point. yet. Honestly, like the speed's not there yet. I wanna see you punch None of our we're not fast. we're not fully established yet. But we have our fights that we've had have been pretty good. We hit contender. That's actually pretty decent, man. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that result. But like I was saying, man, we got a long way to go with this career, man. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Long way to go. This is episode eight, but this is only our fifth fight, man. So, I kind of want to make each episode one fight long. I don't want to start making 40-minute episodes here. because it's about 20 minutes per episode. It's, it's about right, depending on the fight. Um, okay, so we got two weeks left, man. Let's do this next training drill here. Defensive specialist. Obviously, with those words, the goal here is just to be defensive. Block, slip, step, and weave. Dodge your opponent's onslaught any way you can. Counter punching will earn huge bonuses, but get hit and you'll lose big. All right, so this is going to be tough. Yup. Yo, this is, yeah, I already, already know. I got my eyes closed meditating for this. This is going to be tough. We'll see We'll see what happens. We'll see what we can do, man. All right, so we got to just stay defensive. I think we have to land shots, though, to be honest. Yes, we do. Okay. All right, so, so far, we just got hit with one shot. Oh, they weren't kidding, bro. Oh, nice weave there, bro, but we missed the hook. That was perfectly timed. Yeah, you can see. You can see how much stamina, I mean, not stamina, how many points we lose for actually getting hit with shots here. Shit, we might not even be able to break a 1,000. Okay, okay, so good job here. Nice weave there, man. Sidestep. I timed that sidestep perfectly. We got caught with a blistering one there, but. Like I said, man. 79 overall, man. I really, I, I personally don't think that any of these created fighters on our way up to the top of the division really has a chance. Like, I don't think anybody really has a chance with us, but hey, man. Anything can happen, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm going to try, obviously, not to lose fights, but I don't know how difficult this is going to get for us, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how, I don't know how stiff the competition is going to get. I don't know, I'm not going to know the intentions of any other fighters episode by episode. I'm not going to know how bad they want to put our legacy to rest, but we can't sit there and focus on that. We got to, we got to stay mentally focused on the goal that we have 
and not other people's goals against us. You know what I'm saying? But we're getting caught here. And as you can see, guys, mostly talking over this, not paying attention to the fullest, trying to play. But we didn't, we didn't do a great job at all here. Yeah, we didn't even get prospect with that one. So maybe that's not one we're gonna go with for a while. But man, after talking as much as I was and getting this stuff done here, February 2000, 2012, man, February 8th, Wednesday, Mexico City Plaza, Matt versus Bob Darchinyan. Don't know where he's from, but that's his name. Some heavyweight action for you guys, man. I'm hyped up. Like I said, if you guys haven't checked out the last episode, make sure you click the link in my description and check out the playlist and click episode 7, man. We absolutely devastated our opponent, so you already know what time it is. You already know what we're going to look to do right now. Good evening, everybody, and I welcome you to Wednesday Night Fights alongside Teddy Atlas and Joe Tessitore. We have a 2-inch height advantage. We have a 10-inch reach advantage. 10 inches, guys. 10 whole inches, almost a whole ruler of reach against this guy, bro. So this should not... Oh, and as you can see, man, there's some, bad, there's some bad blood between Matt, uh, Matt Merced and his opponent here. So this should be fun, but yo, 10-inch reach advantage, bro. Remember, guys. This should be no competition. Look at the eyes, man. Look at the focus, man. Look at the determination. Look at the heart. Look at the warrior status. All right, guys. Six rounds of heavyweight action. Here we go, man. All right, let's try to... Maybe we should... Okay, this guy likes to throw. So let's try to be defensive, man. Maybe we can get, like, a crazy defensive knockout here. You know, that's the right question, Joe. It's a combination of both. You know, he hasn't exactly... There we go. Nice one-two. But yeah, look at that. We're already landing our first shot. You, he He's already clinching up. Boy, he's really getting off with his punches There's a nice combo. Here. We missed the one to the body, but the one left shot, hook came so quick it, came it really devastated him. There's a nice combo there, too. Well left and right landed. They were talking about our bad accuracy on that one. Oh, nice shot by our opponent. So like I said, man, 34, and, uh, what was it, 35 and 4 this guy was? I think it was 19 knockouts. So he's been here before. He's way more experienced than us. So to knock this guy out. He's let, yo, this guy right here, I ain't gonna front. Nice combos landed. I ain't gonna front, man. This guy right here, you could tell he's ready. Sound nice shot by us, though. Well. The nice the combo. Kind of just by the shots he's throwing. You want Lines to leave your hands down? You're going to get caught, bro. Working, land both punches. He's got low health, man. Let's try to get him. Ah, landed a nice stinging left hook. Ah, another left hook lands. Ah, another left hook lands clean. Landing that uppercut, man. There's a little three-piece. Good exchange. He fires back. One, two. Trying to throw it. Already right, landed a good shot to the body. That uppercut was nasty. There's another one following it right afterwards. Great round. And that's the end of the round. That's a good round, man. He recovered 13% stamina. We only did two. Teddy, why is it that everybody thinks they can punch? But not everybody knows how to defend themselves. Well, you know, I take a guy off the street, and I guarantee you, Joe, he'll come in the ring, he'll start swinging, he'll windmill a little bit. But getting away from the punches, that's something that has to be taught. All right, guys, round two here. Just wanted to give you guys what the announcers had to say. All right, our opponents landed some good shots here. It looks like we be we're finally versing a guy who's not defensive. There's a nice combo there. Ooh, nice uppercut lands. There's a good right hand. All right, so so far. ties up there. I guess I jinxed myself. Talking about no one was going to be able to hang. This guy's actually eating some shots here. That worked out really 
Ah, there's a counter. Here we go. That was a nice one right there, man. I threw the power hook, too. I was hoping to drop him, but another power hook lands to the face. There we go. Yo, our opponent's throwing, guys. Halfway through round number two. Good block. I'm trying to throw some shots here. I'm trying to land. This guy's actually doing pretty good. He's rope a doping. Nice blistering shot to the body, but our, it looks like our punches aren't really affecting this guy too much. The cooler's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. And now that backhand. He lands a nice straight to the head as we followed one back with him though. A little head hunting with the right. Oh man, he caught us with a nice shot, but we got a good chin here. Nice hook there, Lance. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. Trying to throw some power shots there. You some we missed both. There both. I think we threw four of them and missed them. Trying to land some shots here, guys. Oh, we had his arm caught yeah, for a minute. Maybe I should push this guy off. Ah, there's some shots. Nice weave the there. All right, good round. Round is over. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. I just can't get over the lack of defense here. It's as if he wasn't taught any in the gym. Well, see, that's the key. I don't know who they're talking about not being defensive. Because I don't know why we just threw out the gate like that. I didn't press any buttons. You get to the event. Either you know it or you Nice double know uppercut landing. He doesn't know it. He's not learning it now. The cooler's well off the mark All right, guys. We have three rounds left in this fight here. Good start to this round. Landed a nice like hook the there. The Got to get this knockout, guys. We haven't even dropped our opponent yet. Nice hook by us. Oh, he comes back. Our opponent's landed some nice counter shots here. Teddy, he's not jabbing that much right now. That's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like giving There we go. Nice one. combo lands. Now, his opponent doesn't have now to we're throwing. Much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them. Trying to get these knockouts, guys. Oh, caught him with a nice one there. Another hook lands. He's getting a little confident here. He's, he's dropping his hands. Cooler's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. This guy's got some good health, man. We're catching him with some shots here. And nice left hook. Fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. There's a nice left hook to the head. I gotta figure out how to throw. We have Mike Tyson's punch style. Now he's putting his punches together. The I gotta figure out how to throw that Mike there. Tyson haymaker. As you can see, left, left and right hook landing, uppercuts following it with, with it. Uh, he's throwing some good shots. All right, guys, we got him hurt. We got to catch him, man. Jesus, 12 seconds, man. Can we get a knockdown here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Sit down, bro. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We landed it. We landed it. A little sloppy there, but we landed it. All right, we hit him with the forearm. We didn't even. All right, we definitely threw an illegal shot there. Definitely landed. Let's show it again, guys. We got caught as we threw that one. I got a better angle for you guys. Kind of hit him with the forearm a little bit, so we know that hurt more than the uppercut. Hey, man, a knockdown's a knockdown. We'll take it. Our opponent right now is eating the canvas. Gets up with no problem, and he'll be saved by the round. All right, guys. So we got. His opponent down on the canvas. He's what do we got? Three rounds left. The first three rounds of this fight as we begin round number four, Teddy. Well, yes, this is round four. So we got three rounds left. No we got four, five, and he six here. And he's eating punches. So let's try to come out you know, aggressive out here, landing that one-two. There's the one-two again. You got to go out there. You got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. All right, he's just leaving his hands down like this, just moving around. You have to remember. That's a good question, but you have to remember this fight. Nice left hook lands. So just remember, I There's a shot. Ooh, caught him with a blistering left hook. He's leaving his hands down. Oh yeah, he's leaving. Stupid ass is leaving his hands. Down. That's what he's get. That's what he gets. You go up against. You go up against me. You leave your hands down. You're gonna get caught. I mean, it's it's that simple, man. I, I meant to press B 
beat if to show you guys the replay. I pressed A instead. Let's we'll see if this guy gets up, man. He's getting up with no problem. He's a little wobbly, though. You see him, you see him getting up, like leaning to the left a little bit. All right, so he's just he's coming out here in, in uh, survival mode. He's coming out here throwing punches when he should be guarding his face. Oh, nice shot by our opponent there. Man, that devastating straight punch to the cooler, man. All right, nice left hook combo lands. All right, man, he's throwing now. Ah, ah, eat that one too, bro. We got one for you. Now, we might have messed up with the first knockdown. But, yo, that knockdown right there, guys. He's got that cross block. We landed. We went right underneath his block. That little space that he has. When he's got the hands up guarding like that. We went right through there with the uppercut. And then as he falls here. I threw that. I, I put that power modifier on there, man. I tried to really devastate this guy. I'll show you guys this. This is the last time I'll show you guys. Look at the, look at the uppercut on the way down. Caught him clean, man. Let's get it. This might be the end of the fight. His opponent unable to beat the count. And there you have it. There you have it, guys. I really honestly didn't think we were going to get the knockout there. I was getting worried for a second. But once round four started and I realized I had three now full more rounds. A fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout. But he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe I just wanted to let the announcers talk, man. But that's pretty tough. You guys see on the screen, man. We unlocked some zebra print trucks as well as some zebra print short trunks. That's pretty tough. If you guys want me to put those on my fighter, man, leave a comment down below and I'll put those on in the next episode. But yeah, man, like I was saying, I didn't think we were going to get the knockout. I was getting a little worried. It's not that I didn't think we were going to do, like, get the knockout. I was kind of questioning my confidence a little bit, which I don't like doing. Damn, last fight we landed 66% of our strikes. I mean, 55. This time we landed 64% of our punches, man. He threw 427 and landed 277, so that's pretty damn good if you ask me. 70% of our right uppercuts. The straight punch landed 73% as well as the jab was 73%. So pretty good. Our fourth round was our best round, landed 76% of our strikes, man. Really came. He did too, but we landed, you know, more than him. First round was really good too, 79 out of 116. That's pretty damn good. Um... So yeah, man, here we go. Let's go over this stuff here. We are now the 32, 32nd ranked heavyweight contender. We are now 5-0 with 5 KOs. That win percentage and KO percentage stays at 100 because we have all we won all of our fights and knocked out all of our opponents. And our connect percentage went up, man. So now we all of a sudden now have a 50% percentage versus 58. And we were able to knock down our opponent two times so we got some xp but we were unable to complete the challenge of knocking down our opponent in under four rounds we got him in the fourth round still to me a satisfying win still a great win for the cooler and just like that ladies and gentlemen episode eight is sadly come to an end make sure you guys hit that like button if you enjoyed the video leave some comments down below let me know about those zebra trunk uh shorts if i should put those on those zebra print shorts um, make sure you guys, if you're new here, as always, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell to receive messages every time I upload a video, because I tend to upload videos every single day. Thank you guys once again for coming back. This is going to wrap up the episode. Road to the Go 2. EA Sports Fight Night Champion. Legacy Mode, man. It's been your boy. It's been fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys again for coming back. I appreciate you guys. 1,000 subs is on the way. And let's get it, man. I'm out. Peace.